my name is Siri. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like my video, share it, and you can comment it as well. As well as don't forget to hit the bell icon. So today I'm going to make restaurant style mutton paneer. So let's start. So here is the ingredients. First is paneer and tomatoes, oil, and peas, and green chili, chopped onion, chopped garlic, chopped ginger, chili powder, salt, and garam masala, turmeric powder, cumin and coriander powder, and cumin seeds. So let's start. So now, pan is hot. I'm going to add two tablespoon of oil. And then I'm going to shallow fry this paneer. Here I'm using 200 grams of paneer. We need to cook it for two to three minutes. In three minutes. You don't need to cook for longer. Just need to do shallow fry. And now I'm going to put this in a bowl. So this is how it looks like. Now the next step is I'm going to use karai. And kora is hot now. I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil. Okay, the oil is hot. I'm going to put some onion. And I'm going to add chopped garlic then to add chopped ginger and just cook for one to two minutes okay it's been uh, two minutes now I'm going to add tomato going to add uh, chili as well. Here I'm using two chili. If you like to add more, you can always add more. And at the same time, I'm adding one tablespoon of salt. The salt will help the tomato to make it soft. So now I'm going to cook it uh, for three to four minutes. Okay, it's been four minutes, as you can see. Tomato is gone soft. Now I'm going to leave it for five minutes to let it cool and then I'm going to blend it. So now this is how it looks like after you blend it. So now the next step is I'm using karai again and putting some oil around two tablespoons. Oil is hot. I'm going to add cumin seeds. After the cumin seeds, always make sure you will lower your glass pan so that later on I'm going to add some chilies. Okay, add it to chili. It is important to cook a chili powder in the oil because it will give you a good color. It's a nice good color. 
of how in a restaurant if, when you see it looks really nice color now i'm going to add this okay. and slowly slowly you to cook it again you have to cook 10 minutes now you can increase your gas flame and i'm going to add dry masala turmeric powder half teaspoon coriander and cumin powder half teaspoon okay now i'm going to cook it for 10 minutes in the meantime while you are cooking this make sure you will stir it don't forget to stir it and you have to cook this until you will see um, oil is separating from this mixture so we need to just wait and see until the time make sure you will stir it so now it's been 10 minutes as you can see the mixer has gone into thick and then you can see all the oil it is separating and now it's really ready as you can see the color is changed as well as compared to before so it's fully cooked now. So now I'm going to add this frozen peas, but you can use a fresh pizza as well if it's available. Otherwise, you can use a frozen peas. And let it cook for another three minutes I'm going to add garam masala as well um, a little bit of salt remember before we already put the salt so make sure you not put a lot just a little bit and I will cook it for two to three minutes again so that all the peas will cook properly okay it's been three minutes so now i'm going to add half a cup of water first and then i'm going to add paneer And if the gravy is too thick, you can always add the water. I'm adding a little bit of more water. And leave it for one minute. Now the matapani is, is ready. And you can always add a chopped coriander at this point. To be honest with you, um, I couldn't buy any coriander last time when I went to do my shopping in the market because I couldn't find any fresh coriander. So it's, this is ready, but you can always add coriander as, at this stage. So now I'm going to serve it. So this is how it looks like. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you for your time and please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like my video, share it and you can comment it as well. As well as don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.